Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh. I'd like to welcome you to this Matrix Quick Tip tutorial. And today we're gonna to take a look at how to quickly build a custom export. Now before I begin, I'd first like to mention that because each MLS has slightly different requirements, the system that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same and for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own system. Now for anyone who's already familiar with exporting through Matrix, you already know that to generate a CSV file, we first need to run a search and then select which properties we'd like to export the data from. Next, we need to click the export button to access our initial set of predefined system exports to choose from. But because none of these system defaults contain all of the information that we may want to export, we're going to need to create a brand new custom export that only includes the fields that we're actually interested in. And we're going to begin by first accessing the My Matrix section. And from here, I'm going to select Settings from the drop-down menu, and then click Custom Exports. So now, let's quickly add a brand new export by first clicking the Add button, and then naming our custom export. Next, we're going to select from the Available Fields list box the columns that we'd like to include in our new export. And for this short example, I'm going to limit my selection to just a handful of fields, starting with the MLS number, an address, the city, the list price, and finally, the number of bedrooms and bathrooms. So while this export can technically now be saved, first, I'm going to ensure that my information is generated in the correct order as well as include an optional user-friendly field label that identifies each column. All right, so with my custom export now configured, click Save, then click Done to return to my matrix. And once again, to generate an export, this time using our own custom fields, simply run any search, and then select which properties we'd like to export the data from. Next, we're going to click the Export button to not only access our initial set of predefined system exports, but also any custom exports that we've created. And if at this point you'd like to edit this export, either click the Edit Custom Export button or return to the Custom Exports section and then select whichever export you'd like to manage. All right, well, this concludes this Matrix Quick Tip tutorial. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope that you can join me for another session. Take care.